welcome back to Mr. Graham's Maths and I've got a question here from the March 2019 paper 32. Um, I've had a request to do some more uh, work solution videos on these vector questions so here we go. We've got two planes um, and we're given the equations of the planes in the question. We want to find the acute angle between the planes. To do this we need to uh, think about the normals. So we've got normal 1 to the plane there and then normal 2 would go like this. So to find the angle between the planes, we're talking about this angle here. The angle will be 180 minus this angle here, the angle between the normals. So if we call that one theta, we can work out theta using scalar products on the two normal vectors. Um, and those two vectors opposite, uh, so angles opposite each other have to add to 180. We've got a 90 degree there, a 90 degree there, and then it makes the quadrilateral. There is a video on how to do this. If you need to go back and find the theory um, that backs this up, you can find that on my channel. The, um, the vectors for the normals to those two planes straight off of the equations of the planes here, just by reading the coefficients of x, y, and z to make those. And then we will um, use the scalar product to find cos theta for the angle between those two. So if we start off with doing the scalar product or dot product of those two vectors, then we will get the answer of minus 5. And then we'll just need to get the modulus of those two vectors as well. So the modulus of n1 is to do the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 1 squared. And that gives us an answer of root 14. And if we do the same for n2, we get root 6. Then pop that back into the um, equation that we had up at the top here, and we'll get that cos theta equals minus 5, so the scalar product, divided by the product of the moduli um, to give us this number here. And then we can go that theta is then going to be, if we do inverse cos on that, we'll get 123.1 degrees. And final check, that does give us the angle between the uh, normals. So now we need to find the acute angle between the planes. So if that's the angle between the normals, we do 180 minus that and we'll get the angle between the planes. And then just double check you've got the acute one. If you didn't, you just subtract it from 180 again. So here we've got the acute angle is 56.9 degrees. The equation of this question asks us to find the vector equation for the line of intersection of the plane. So it's the vector equation for this line here where those two planes cross. Now what we need is to find a point that sits on that line and then a vector that goes in the direction of that line. Now we can get the, direct, uh, the direction vector fairly easily. If we do the vector product of the two normals, that will go off in the same direction as, as the, the one that we're looking for. Um, it will be normal to both of those vectors, which is what this line will be. So it will go in the same direction and we can use vector product to find it. So to do that, we're going to take our two normals and work out the vector product on them. Carrying that on, we get 1 minus 3 minus 7. That is the direction vector of the line that we're looking for, the line of intersection. Now we need to find the point on, or a point that is on that line. So if we can find a point that's on both um, planes, then we will have a point that's on the intersection of them. So we do this by choosing a variable, set a, set a value for it, and then solve simultaneously to find out what the other two variables will need to be when that variable um, is what you've chosen for it. Choose any value you like. Um, it does make things easier if you can um, make one of them equal to zero or maybe equal to one um, if the zero doesn't work out nicely. But I'm going to um, find out what happens when x is equal to zero. So if if we take the value of um, x being 0, we're left with 3y minus z equals 1 and minus 2y plus z equals 3. Now if I add together those two equations, I will eliminate the z and we'll end up with y equals 4. And if y equals 4, z must then be, if we substitute it back into here, we get 12 minus z equals 1, so z must be 11. And just a quick check that it works on the other one as well. So the point 0, 4, 11 is on the line. All answers that you could find for that one. 
um, you can have a different answer to what's on, on the mark scheme as long as it is a point that is on both of the planes. And you can just double check, substitute it back into the equations if you're not sure, and just to make, make certain that you have something that's on both planes. So now we have a point that's on both the planes, therefore it's on the, the line of intersection, and we have a direction that that line goes into, goes along over here. So we put those together as a vector equation. Give it the starting point, so 0, 4, 11. So that's the um, position vector for a point we know is on the line. And then we'll go in uh, lambda multiples of the direction, which is 1 minus 3 minus 7. And there you go.